it had the police constantly surrounding us, constantly questioning us. I felt at the time when we was doing the uh, lie detector test, I wanted to be out searching and doing everything I could, but I had to comply. And, you know, I knew the best thing to do was just to comply with whatever they wanted, you know. Oh, yeah, because you're already, you're already trapped in a nightmare that makes no sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, the smart thing would, would have been not to talk to the police to tell them you're not doing anything and not to talk to them at all, probably, but I felt like this, I wanted to comply with them completely. And, uh, you know, I think Ronnie Lawson got confused. Um, we had two separate cases going, really. We had the case with our, our boys at one point, and then we had the case with Summer. So when we had got lawyers, our lawyers told us to basically not talk to the police no more because of our kids, not not because of Summer's case, but to for our kids. But we chose to go ahead and talk to the police anyway against the advice of our lawyers. So I think this is where Ronnie Lawson got confused because we did lawyer up for our kids, you know, and they did tell us not to talk to the police. But we still chose to talk to the police for the sake of summer. And Ronnie okay. Lawson took it is we lawyered up, but we actually we did for the boys, but we wasn't lawyering up for the case of summer, no. And I think it was just some confusion there and because we I continued to talk to the police and as much as I possibly could, try to help them any way I possibly could. So Ronnie Lawson's not at fault there. It was a mistake.